All right, guys, we are back. Good evening, good morning, or good afternoon. As always, it is so great to see you here today. Friend, I just got back from Glamis, and boy, you ever have, ever have one of those one of those adventures, one of those just trips or whatever it might be that just is, it goes off the hook. Now, I have to be quite frank. Now, when this video does come out, you're gonna find out that it was indeed very warm out there. And so I was on the way out there, I was like, okay, how awesome is this going to be? Cause it was really, really warm, but guys, it was a lot of fun. Got some great photos. I'm super excited about this. Although if I'm being frank with you, I'm a little bit behind schedule cause I owe you guys photography, trek and adventure, Joshua tree episode. Uh, and then of course I have the glamorous episode that will be coming out. So I promise you both of these will be here for you to watch very shortly. But today guys, it's Photography Talk episode 43. Wow, 43 episodes. Man, that's pretty badass. We're coming on to a full year of doing these things here. Right around the corner. Well, we got a lot of rumors about new cameras to discuss in today's episode. And I, you know, I really love talking about upcoming gear. So I'm super excited to get to these reviews. But First, let me take a moment and thank you for tuning in today. To all you folks coming on board, thanks for joining the Photography Talk family and all of you who are coming back for more. It is so great to see you here again. We love pushing out these videos and getting interactive with you guys on a weekly basis, so be sure to subscribe. That way you know when these videos come out. And when they do, be sure to comment and let us know what you think of the videos. Subscribing to our channel and commenting on our videos is just two of the steps that you need to do to enter our monthly giveaways. So there could be some badass photography prize in it for you by playing along. Now, let's get to the current headlines. The next Sony A9 will go toe to toe with the Canon R5. Now after Canon dropped the R5, you knew it would be only a matter of time before Sony or Nikon unveiled its quote unquote R5 killer. Well, it appears Sony will be the first to the punch with the newest A9 rumored to be on tap for early 2021. Now apparently Sony wants their next A9 to have a 50 megapixel sensor and have 8K video capabilities. Now additionally, the new A9 is rumored to have a 9.44 million dot EVF IBIS dual card slots and the new menu system that was just recently unveiled with the Sony A7S III. Now, the only other details mentioned in this rumor so far is that the camera will either be called the A9S or the A9 III and that the price tag for this, get ready for this, is gonna be in the neighborhood of five to $6,000. Now that's all we know at this point, but you think about it, 2021 is just only three months away. So we could be getting some official word from Sony about this camera sooner than later. The Canon US R1 is rumored to be coming in 2021. The Canon EOS R5 is basically the mirrorless version of the 5D line. That means that the R1 camera would be the mirrorless version of Canon's flagship 1D series. Rumor has it that Canon will release the R1 sometime in 2021, most likely in the second half of the year. Now the rumors don't mention any of the specs at this point. However, based on the 1D line, it is safe to assume that the R1 is going to be beefy. It's gonna be a rugged camera and it's gonna be a lower resolution sensor than what is in the R5, perhaps something in the 24 megapixel range. And as a flagship camera, you can bet it's gonna have Canon's best technologies like IAF, and I personally doubt that the R1 is going to have 8K video, but man, stranger things has happened. <laughs> what do you think? Leave a comment below. Do you think, we'll have a little fun with this, do you think that the R1 will have 8K video or do you think that it is not going to have the 8K video? Again, let's have a little fun with this. Put your vote down below and we'll see who was right and uh, or who was on the money when Canon announces the R1. But for professional photographer shooters, the R1 is going to be like a game changing camera, particularly if it shows the same thoughtfulness and innovation that Canon put in to the R5. Jumping over to Adobe, Photoshop will soon have the sky replacement feature. Now sky replacement is Nothing new. It's been an AI powered program like Luminar for years, but sky replacement is new for Photoshop and it's a feature that is coming soon. Now replacing the sky in a image, as you may know, is a very, it's a time consuming process. So Adobe is really hopping on the AI bandwagon in the name of helping people streamline their editing process. 
Thanks, Adobe. <laughs> the technology allows you to choose whatever sky that you want and shift and scale it as you need. And this is possible because of Adobe's Sensei Artificial Intelligence. Now, in addition to blending and masking the sky automatically, Sensei will also adjust the lighting and the color in the foreground of the image so it matches what's in the sky, or the new sky rather. Now this feature also works beautifully in other programs and I have no doubt that the mad scientists or Adobe have put together an equally effective tool for Photoshop users. Next, we have British startup company creates a AI accelerated computational camera. Photogram AI, which is a British startup, recently announced that they have developed something called Alice Camera. Now, Alice Camera is described as being an AI accelerated computational camera that seeks to bring the smartphones and traditional cameras all together. Alice Camera is an interchangeable lens camera that has an AI chip that expands its machine learning capabilities and the camera has a micro four thirds lens mount and a 11 megapixel quad bear HDR sensor. Now the sensor was developed with large pixels to improve dynamic range and to reduce noise levels. On the back is a universal phone mount, meaning that your phone serves as a screen of the camera by using the companion Alice camera app. Now because this camera links your phone wirelessly and has a universal mount, it can be used with both Android and iOS devices. Additionally, the wireless connection means that you can set Alice camera up on a tripod and then use your phone as a wireless external monitor. This could come in handy for things like astrophotography when you'd rather kick it back at your camp chair rather than standing by your camera and tripod all night. Now the AI chip in this camera will serve many different purposes from adjusting exposure to handling the camera's color science to perfecting the autofocus. Now other features include 4K video, electronic image stabilization, Wi-Fi, and USB-C charging. Now this camera is still in the prototype stage, but you can pre-order one if you like. Check out the description below for that link if you're interested. And that's it for this week's headlines. Let's review the details of our current giveaway. Here are the prizes that we have this round. We have a ViewSonic VP3881 38-inch monitor. We have a ViewSonic VP3481 34-inch monitor. A year's worth of oh-so-tasty and often-needed coffee from our friends over at F-Stuff Coffee. And, of course, a $100 Adorama gift card. Now, entering the giveaway is really simple. Step one, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch and leave a comment on, the more chances that you have to win. So, get watching some of our videos and leave a comment. Step three, register on Photography Talk and introduce yourself in the forum. Now, if you did introduce yourself in one of the prior giveaways, you are still eligible to win this time around. But as I keep saying, swing on by, say hello, let us know what's going on with you in front that is it now for complete details on the giveaway or how to register on photography talk and how to say hello in the form check out the description below good luck well there you go friends photography talk episode 43 it's that time of the video where i'm going to ask you to do all that youtube stuff that does help the channel out if you found this video to be helpful entertaining do hit that like button and also if you're currently not subscribed to the channel at least consider it we'd love to have you part of the family and last but not least smash kick that bell to be notified each time that we come out with a video all right my friend i'm gonna go jumping out of here you stay healthy and create your best shot